In the words of Adam the Woo, with me, Hitchcock, proud. So you might recognize this stable building behind me from the movie Vertigo that Alfred Hitchcock did. There's a scene where they walk through there and there's like a plastic or fiberglass horse and a bunch of old carriages. We'll there in a minute and you will see that those still exist. Now there's also, uh, after the woman falls off the top of the mission, up by the bell, there's also where Jimmy Stewart is on trial. And that, I think, is on top of this building here. I'm pretty sure that's where they have it. And uh, that's where they do the court hearing. Um, but it could be also wrong. It could also have been done over there in the Plaza Hotel upstairs. But uh, that room, those rooms are cut up more into small hotel rooms where this is a big open room on the top here. So I, I'm pretty sure, not 100%, but pretty sure that that was done in there. Now, the mission is behind over here. We're having a wedding, a wedding over there right now, so I'm gonna stay away, let them have their space over there. And you can see right over here is where the bell is. But now, there's really no tower. Actually, Hitchcock had that dr drawn in, but this original mission actually did have an upstairs tower. There really was a tower up there. It's an attack of the pigeons. So this is in the stable. This is where the keeper would have stayed that watched over the stable. This would have been his room. Pretty amazing. And you can see why it's amazing because all the horses would have been kept right here, right outside his room. And the wagons and all that. And the saddles right here, there's a saddle attack room. Pretty amazing stuff. Even more amazing is, look at all these old branding iron uh, burns in to the wall. This is pretty cool. Here is the wagons used over the years. Not sure if all these came with the mission, but in Hitchcock's film, you can actually see all these wagons inside here. Many of them exactly the same as they were in Hitchcock's film six, over 60 years ago. So they have another uh, fiberglass horse. This is, I don't think this is the one that was in the movie, but I think it's over there under that plastic with the, connected to the wagon. So this is actually where I, they did film the court scene of Jimmy Stewart after uh, Kim Novak's character tended to jump off, but they threw the wife of the guy that hired Jimmy Stewart to investigate his wife off the tower of the mission. But this actually used to be a ballroom, I was just told by my wife. And now it's not very safe, so you can't go up there on the balcony or anything like that because it's all rotted. Come on, Jerry Brown. Put all that high tax money into here because this stuff is history and we need to preserve it. Oh man, they haven't really polished up these uh, bricks, these old stone work um, as much as they have as a lot of the California missions that have been restored. It's like really neat to see that you can still see all the original 
chip marks and stuff like that all the way down. This wedding's just getting out, so I'm hoping to get into the church before it closes over there, the mission part of the church. Now, Hitchcock added on a drawing that went up there and made a tower, but actually this doesn't have a second story or a bell tower or anything. That's just it. Just the bells hanging out like that. Here's the cauldron. The cauldron. Oh, I guess you're not cooking anything in that cauldron. It's got a big hole. Now you look, these are from First Nation people. They used to do their grinding the acorns and into meal. Very cool. Today, they would only have to settle for grounding olives. No oaks in this courtyard anymore. No, it's just olive trees and pepper trees over there. So it's a little loud in here, but you can see right here animal print. And they made these tiles for the floor in here. They laid them outside to dry. And uh, I heard that there were animal prints. And you can see that one. It's a little raccoon or something like that. Another animal print. You can see it right here. Very cool. It's very loud in here because the uh, wedding's just breaking up. Here's another one. Maybe I shouldn't say breaking up and wedding in the same sentence. But here's another animal print right there. So they had these all drying out in the sun. And the animals would come walk around and step on them. So you can see this place is amazing. Now when Hitchcock filmed his film movie, The Vertigo, in the, I think it was the early 50s. Um, you would have saw this was walled off. Because of an earthquake that was damaged, they just walled it off. You wouldn't have seen these two sides. This is actually the widest of the churches in the, of all the missions in California. And um, so... Later on, I think it was in the 80s or 70s or 80s or something like that, they restored this and opened it back up and had the arches. So you wouldn't have seen these arches in, in the movie, but you would have seen all those saints and the whole church like that. Very amazing. Now, I always light candles when I come here. So is the wedding still hanging out, even though they're, it's over. They don't want to leave. This is the cemetery out this way. This is really cool. There's an owl that hangs out here. If you look in these trees, sometimes you can see the owl. Look at us locked in here. So here's all the old graves. Just wooden markers. No. No names written. Oh, this is an amazing shot of the valley too. This would have been the old holy water where you just came in and dipped your hands in in a big giant. Also, this one you would have probably put your hands, but this is where they would have done baptisms for the kids. But now they just have a little cooler of holy water. You can just press in, get your fingers wet, and a Hail Mary, and you're protected in here. So each, all the doors in this mission church, the church part, have these river of life flowing through. And these little holes here, actually, they're little cat doors, like in the commons. Now, there's a big mice problem back in the 
1800s. So they have these little holes that the mice, I mean, the cats could go in and get the mice. So this is also known as the Mission of Music. I've been in here a million times. Having a family that has been in this area for, since the 1800s. It is a place of many field trips when I was a kid. I don't think uh, Hitchcock used any of this in the movie. I could be wrong, I haven't watched it for a while. Look at that. That's where you would sit down and have some corn. Maybe something else. I hope. I like corn, but it's not going to fill my belly. So here we go. Here's the river of life. Through all these doors. It's amazing. Very cool. Very cool. Now here's what the mission would have looked like before time took its toll on it. It would have been massive. Now, I think the only part that remains is the church part here and then this part we're in right here, which is that long strip there. All this has long been crumbled to the earth. Like the old wallpaper, that's like wallpaper, huh? I don't think it's paint. Might be paint. I don't know. But it's, it's peeling up down there. I think it's just the old wallpaper from the. There's a sketch at the top of the building. Oh, yeah. So here's Alfred Hitchcock's there. sketch for what the bell tower they wanted to look like. There's some sketches on the church and things like that. And then over here, there's Hitchcock, the man himself, his mask. Vertigo, the movie. Highly recommend this movie. And there's the Hollywood version of the bell tower that never existed here. And Tim Novak at the end gets scared by a nun and falls off to her death. Also, just like the wife did in the beginning. Go in. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> that looks scary. <laughs>